The French colonization of the Americas began in the 16th century, and continued on into the following centuries as France established a colonial empire in the Western Hemisphere. France founded colonies in much of eastern North America, on a number of Caribbean islands, and in South America. Most colonies were developed to export products such as fish, rice sugar, and furs. As they colonized the New World, the French established forts and settlements that would become such cities as Quebec and Montreal in Canada, Detroit, Green Bay, St. Louis, Cape Girardeau, Mobile, Biloxi, Baton Rouge and New Orleans in the United States, and Port-au-Prince, Cap Haitian founded as Cap Francais in Haiti, Cayenne in French Guiana and São Luís founded as St. Louis de Maranhão in Brazil. North America Topic. Background The French first came to the New World as explorers, seeking a route to the ocean and wealth. Major French exploration of North America began under the rule of Francis I, King of France. In 1524, Francis sent Italian-born Giovanni da Verrazzano to explore the region between Florida and Newfoundland for a route to the Pacific Ocean. Verrazzano gave the names Francesca and Nova Gallia to that land between New Spain and English Newfoundland, thus promoting French interests. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Colonization. In 1534, Francis I of France sent Jacques Cartier on the first of three voyages to explore the coast of Newfoundland and the Saint Lawrence River. He founded New France by planting a cross on the shore of the Gaspé Peninsula. The French subsequently tried to establish several colonies throughout North America that failed, due to weather, disease, or conflict with other European powers. Cartier attempted to create the first permanent European settlement in North America at Cap Rouge Quebec City in 1541 with 400 settlers but the settlement was abandoned the next year after bad weather and attacks from Native Americans in the area. A small group of French troops were left on Paris Island, South Carolina in 1562 to build Charlesfort, but left after a year when they were not resupplied by France. Fort Caroline established in present-day Jacksonville, Florida, in 1564, lasted only a year before being destroyed by the Spanish from St. Augustine. An attempt to settle convicts on Sable Island off Nova Scotia in 1598 failed after a short time. In 1599, a 16-person trading post was established in Tadoussac in present-day Quebec, of which only five men survived the first winter. In 1604 Pierre du Goua de Monts and Samuel de Champlain founded a short-lived French colony, the first in Acadia, on St. Croix Island, presently part of the state of Maine, which was much plagued by illness, perhaps scurvy. The following year the settlement was moved to Port Royal, located in present-day Nova Scotia. Samuel de Champlain founded Quebec 1608 and explored the Great Lakes. In 1634, Jean Nicolette founded La Bay des Puents present-day Green Bay, which is one of the oldest permanent European settlements in America. In 1634, Sieur de la Violette founded Trois-Rivières. In 1642, Paul de Chomidy, Sieur de Maisonneuve, founded Fort Ville-Marie which is now known as Montreal, Louis Joliet and Jacques Marquette founded Sault Ste. Marie and St. Ignace and explored the Mississippi River. At the end of the 17th century, René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle established a network of forts going from the Gulf of Mexico to the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River. Fort St. Louis was established in Texas in 1685, but was gone by 1688. Antoine de la Moth Cadillac founded Fort Panchartrain du Detroit modern-day Detroit in 1701 and Jean-Baptiste Le Moyne, Sieur de Bienville founded La Nouvelle Orléans New Orleans in 1718. Pierre Le Moyne d'Iberville founded Baton Rouge in 1719. The French were eager to explore North America but New France remained largely unpopulated. Due to the lack of women, intermarriages between French and Indians were frequent, giving rise to the Métis people. Relations between the French and Indians were usually peaceful. As the 19th century historian Francis Parkman stated, Spanish civilization crushed the Indian, English civilization scorned and neglected him, French civilization embraced and cherished him. To boost the French population, Cardinal Richelieu issued an act declaring that Indians converted to Catholicism were considered as natural Frenchmen by the Ordonnance of 1627. 
the descendants of the French who are accustomed to this country New France, together with all the Indians who will be brought to the knowledge of the faith and will profess it, shall be deemed and renowned natural Frenchmen, and as such may come to live in France when they want, and acquire, donate, and succeed and accept donations and legacies, just as true French subjects, without being required to take no letters of declaration of naturalization. Louis XIV also tried to increase the population by sending approximately 800 young women nicknamed the «King's Daughters». However, the low density of population in New France remained a very persistent problem. At the beginning of the French and Indian War 1754 the British population in North America outnumbered the French 20 to 1. France fought a total of six colonial wars in North America see the four French and Indian wars as well as Father Rail's War and Father Le Loutre's War. <inaudible> <inaudible> French Florida In 1562, Charles IX, under the leadership of Admiral Gaspard de Coligny sent Jean Ribault and a group of Huguenot settlers in an attempt to colonize the Atlantic coast and found a colony on a territory which will take the name of the French Florida. They discovered the Probe and Port Royal Island, which will be called by Paris Island in South Carolina, on which he built a fort named Charlesfort. The group, led by René Goulain de Laudonnière, moved to the south where they founded the Fort Caroline on the St. John's River in Florida on June 22, 1564. This irritated the Spanish who claimed Florida and opposed the Protestant settlers for religious reasons. In 1565, Pedro Menéndez de Avilés led a group of Spaniards and founded St. Augustine, 60 kilometers south of Fort Caroline. Fearing a Spanish attack, Ribault planned to move the colony but a storm suddenly destroyed his fleet. On 20 September 1565 the Spaniards, commanded by Menéndez de Avilés, attacked and massacred all the Fort Caroline occupants including Jean Ribault. <laughs> Canada and Acadia The French interest in Canada focused first on fishing off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland. However, at the beginning of the 17th century, France was more interested in fur from North America. The fur trading post of Tadoussac was founded in 1600. Four years later, Champlain made his first trip to Canada in a trade mission for fur. Although he had no formal mandate on this trip, he sketched a map of the St. Lawrence River and in writing, on his return to France, a report entitled Savages' Relation of His Stay in a Tribe of Montagne near Tadoussac. Champlain needed to report his findings to Henry IV. He participated in another expedition to New France in the spring of 1604, conducted by Pierre du Goua de Monts. It helped the foundation of a settlement on St. Croix Island, the first French settlement in the New World, which would be given up the following winter. The expedition then founded the colony of Port Royal. In 1608, Champlain founded a fur post that would become the city of Quebec, which would become the capital of New France. In Quebec, Champlain forged alliances between France and the Huron and Ottawa against their traditional enemies, the Iroquois. Champlain and other French travelers then continued to explore North America, with canoes made from birch bark, to move quickly through the Great Lakes and their tributaries. In 1634, the Normand explorer Jean Nicolette pushed his exploration to the west up to Wisconsin. Following the capitulation of Quebec by the Kirk brothers, the British occupied the city of Quebec in Canada from 1629 to 1632. Samuel de Champlain was taken prisoner, and there followed the bankruptcy of the Company of 100 Associates. Following the Treaty of Saint Germain en Laye, France took possession of the colony in 1632. The city of Trois-Rivières was founded in 1634. In 1642, the Angevin Jérôme Le Royer de la Daversière founded Ville-Marie later Montreal which was at that time, a fort as protection against Iroquois attacks the First Great Iroquois War lasted from 1642 to 1667. Despite this rapid expansion, the colony developed very slowly. The Iroquois wars and diseases were the leading causes of death in the French colony. In 1663 when Louis XIV provided the royal government, the population of New France was only 2,500 European inhabitants. That year, to increase the population, Louis XIV sent between 800 and 900 king's daughters to become the wives of French settlers. 
The population of New France reached subsequently 7,000 in 1674 and 15,000 in 1689. From 1689 to 1713, the French settlers were faced with almost incessant war during the French and Indian Wars. From 1689 to 1697, they fought the British in the Nine Years' War. The war against the Iroquois continued even after the Treaty of Reichswake until 1701, when the two parties agreed on peace. Then, the war against the English took over in the War of the Spanish Succession. In 1690 and 1711, Quebec City had successfully resisted the attacks of the English Navy and then British Army. Nevertheless, the British took advantage of the Second War. With the signing of the Treaty of Utrecht in 1713, France ceded to Britain Acadia with a population of 1,700 people, Newfoundland and Hudson Bay. Under the Sovereign Council, the population of the colony grew faster. However, the population growth was far inferior to that of the British 13 colonies to the south. In the middle of the 18th century, New France accounted for 60,000 people while the British colonies had more than 1 million people. This placed the colony at a great military disadvantage against the British. The war between the colonies resumed in 1744, lasting until 1748. A final and decisive war began in 1754. The Canadians and the French were helped by numerous alliances with Native Americans, but they were usually outnumbered on the battlefield. Louisiana On May 17, 1673, explorers Louis Joliet and Jacques Marquette began exploring the Mississippi River, known to the Sioux as Des Tongo, or to the Miami, Illinois as Mississippioe the Great River. They reached the mouth of the Arkansas and then up the river, after learning that it flowed into the Gulf of Mexico and not to the California Sea Pacific Ocean. In 1682, the Norman Cavalier de La Salle and the Italian Henri de Tonti came down the Mississippi to its delta. They left from Fort Crevecoeur on the Illinois River, along with 23 French and 18 Native Americans. In April 1682, they arrived at the mouth of the Mississippi, they planted a cross and a column bearing the arms of the King of France. La Salle returned to France and won over the Secretary of State of the Navy to give him the command of Louisiana. He believed that it was close to New Spain by drawing a map on which the Mississippi seemed much further west than its actual rate. He set up a maritime expedition with four ships and 320 emigrants, but it ended in disaster when he failed to find the Mississippi Delta and was killed in 1687. In 1698, Pierre Le Moyne d'Iberville left La Rochelle and explored the area around the mouth of the Mississippi. He stopped between Isle Aux Chats now Cat Island and Isle Sergers renamed Isle Aux Vascular or Ship Island on February 13, 1699 and continued his explorations to the mainland, with his brother Jean-Baptiste Le Moyne de Bienville to Biloxi. He built a precarious fort, called Morepas later Old Biloxi, before returning to France. He returned twice in the Gulf of Mexico and established a fort at Mobile in 1702. From 1699 to 1702, Pierre Le Moyne d'Iberville was governor of Louisiana. His brother succeeded him in that post from 1702 to 1713. He was again governor from 1716 to 1724 and again 1733 to 1743. In 1718, Jean-Baptiste Le Moyne de Bienville commanded a French expedition in Louisiana. He founded the city of New Orleans, in homage to Regent Duke of Orleans. The architect Adrian de Pogger drew the orthogonal plane of the old square. The Mississippi Bubble In 1718, there were only 700 Europeans in Louisiana. The Mississippi Company arranged for ships to bring 800 more, who landed in Louisiana in 1718, doubling the European population. John Law encouraged Germans, particularly Germans of the Alsatian region who had recently fallen under French rule, and the Swiss to emigrate. Prisoners were set free in Paris in September 1719 onwards, under the condition that they marry prostitutes and go with them to Louisiana. The newly married couples were chained together and taken to the port of embarkation. In May 1720, after complaints from the Mississippi Company and the concessioners about this class of French immigrants, the French government prohibited such deportations. However, there was a third shipment of prisoners in 1721. Dissolution 
The last French and Indian War resulted in the dissolution of New France, with Canada going to Great Britain and Louisiana going to Spain. Only the islands of Saint-Pierre et Miquelon are still in French hands. In 1802 Spain returned Louisiana to France, but Napoleon sold it to the United States in 1803. The French left many toponyms Illinois, Vermont, Bayous, and ethnonyms Sioux, Coeur d'Alene, Nez Perce in North America. <inaudible> West Indies A major French settlement lay on the island of Hispaniola, where France established the colony of Saint-Domingue on the western third of the island in 1664. Nicknamed the Pearl of the Antilles, Saint Domingue became the richest colony in the Caribbean due to slave plantation production of sugar cane. It had the highest slave mortality rate in the Western Hemisphere. A 1791 slave revolt, the only ever successful slave revolt, began the Haitian Revolution, led to freedom for the colony's slaves in 1794, and, a decade later, complete independence for the country, which renamed itself Haiti. France briefly also ruled the eastern portion of the island, which is now the Dominican Republic. During the 17th and 18th centuries, France ruled much of the Lesser Antilles at various times. Islands that came under French rule during part or all of this time include Dominica, Grenada, Guadeloupe, Marie Galante, Martinique, Saint Barthélemy, St. Croix, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, St. Martin, St. Vincent and Tobago. Control of many of these islands was contested between the French, the British and the Dutch. In the case of St. Martin, the island was divided in two, a situation that persists to this day. Great Britain captured some of France's islands during the Seven Years' War and the Napoleonic Wars. Following the latter conflict, France retained control of Guadeloupe, Martinique, Marie Galante, St. Barthélemy, and its portion of St. Martin, all remain part of France today. Guadeloupe including Marie Galante and other nearby islands and Martinique each is an overseas department of France, while St. Barthélemy and St. Martin each became an overseas collectivity of France in 2007. South America Brazil France Antarctique formerly also spelled France Antarctique was a French colony south of the equator, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, which existed between 1555 and 1567, and had control over the coast from Rio de Janeiro to Cabo Frio. The colony quickly became a haven for the Huguenots, and was ultimately destroyed by the Portuguese in 1567. On November 1, 1555, French Vice Admiral Nicolas Durand de Vilgagnon (1510–1575), a Catholic Knight of the Order of Malta, who later would help the Huguenots to find a refuge against persecution, led a small fleet of two ships and 600 soldiers and colonists, and took possession of the small island of Sarajipe in the Guanabara Bay, in front of present-day Rio de Janeiro, where they built a fort named Fort Coligny. The fort was named in honor of Gaspard de Coligny, then a Catholic statesman, who about a year later would become a Huguenot, an admiral who supported the expedition and would use the colony in order to protect his co-religionists. To the still largely undeveloped mainland village, Vilgagnon gave the name of Henryville, in honor of Henry II, the King of France, who also knew of and approved the expedition, and had provided the fleet for the trip. Vilgagnon secured his position by making an alliance with the Tamoyo and Tupanamba Indians of the region, who were fighting the Portuguese. 1557 Calvinist arrival Unchallenged by the Portuguese, who initially took little notice of his landing, Vilgagnon endeavoured to expand the colony by calling for more colonists in 1556. He sent one of his ships, the Grande Roberge, to Henfleur, entrusted with letters to King Henry II, Gaspard de Coligny and according to some accounts, the Protestant leader John Calvin. After one ship was sent to France to ask for additional support, three ships were financed and prepared by the King of France and put under the command of Sieur de Bois le Comte, a nephew of Villagagnon. They were joined by 14 Calvinists from Geneva, led by Philippe de Corgeret, including theologians Pierre Richier and Guillaume Chartrier. The new colonists, numbering around 300, included five young women to be wed, ten boys to be trained as translators, as well as fourteen Calvinists sent by Calvin, and also Jean de Lary, who would later write an account of the colony. They arrived in March 1557. 
The relief fleet was composed of the Petite Roberge, with 80 soldiers and sailors was led by Vice Admiral Sieur de Bois le Comte. The Grande Roberge, with about 120 on board, captained by Sieur de Saint Marie dit Lespine. The Rosé, with about 90 people, led by Captain Rosé. Doctrinal disputes arose between Villagagnon and the Calvinists, especially in relation to the Eucharist, and in October 1557 the Calvinists were banished from Coligny Island as a result. They settled among the Tupanamba until January 1558, when some of them managed to return to France by ship together with Jean de Larry, and five others chose to return to Coligny Island where three of them were drowned by Villagagnon for refusing to recant. Topic. Portuguese intervention In 1560 Mem de Sá, the new governor-general of Brazil, received from the Portuguese government the command to expel the French. With a fleet of 26 warships and 2,000 soldiers, on 15 March 1560, he attacked and destroyed Fort Coligny within three days, but was unable to drive off their inhabitants and defenders, because they escaped to the mainland with the help of the native Brazilians, where they continued to live and to work. Admiral Vilgagnon had returned to France in 1558, disgusted with the religious tension that existed between French Protestants and Catholics, who had come also with the second group see French Wars of Religion. Urged by two influential Jesuit priests who had come to Brazil with Mem de Sá, named José de Anquieta and Manuel da Nóbrega, and who had played a big role in pacifying the Tamoios, Mem de Sá ordered his nephew, Estácio de Sá to assemble a new attack force. Estácio de Sá founded the city of Rio de Janeiro on March 1, 1565, and fought the Frenchmen for two more years. Helped by a military reinforcement sent by his uncle, on January 20, 1567, he imposed final defeat on the French forces and decisively expelled them from Brazil, but died a month later from wounds inflicted in the battle. Coligny's and Vilgainon's dream had lasted a mere 12 years. Topic. Equinoctial France Equinoctial France was the contemporary name given to the colonization efforts of France in the 17th century in South America, around the line of equator, before tropical had fully gained its modern meaning. Equinoctial means in Latin, of equal nights, i.e., on the equator, where the duration of days and nights is nearly the same year round. The French colonial empire in the New World also included New France, Nouvelle France in North America, particularly in what is today the province of Quebec, Canada, and for a very short period 12 years also Antarctic France, France Antarctique, in French, in present-day Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. All of these settlements were in violation of the Papal Bull of 1493, which divided the New World between Spain and Portugal. This division was later defined more exactly by the Treaty of Tordesillas. Topic. History of France Equinoxial France Equinoxial started in 1612, when a French expedition departed from Cancale, Brittany, France, under the command of Daniel de la Touche, Seigneur de la Rivardière, and François de Razilly, Admiral. Carrying 500 colonists, it arrived in the northern coast of what is today the Brazilian state of Maranhão. De la Rivardière had discovered the region in 1604 but the death of the king postponed his plans to start its colonization. The colonists soon founded a village, which was named St. Louis, in honor of the French king Louis IX. This later became São Luís in Portuguese, one the only Brazilian state capital founded by France. On 8 September, Capuchin friars prayed the first mass, and the soldiers started building a fortress. An important difference in relation to France Antarctique is that this new colony was not motivated by escape from religious persecutions to Protestants see French Wars of Religion. The colony did not last long. A Portuguese army assembled in the captaincy of Pernambuco, under the command of Alexander de Moura, was able to mount a military expedition, which defeated and expelled the French colonists in 1615, less than four years after their arrival in the land. Thus, it repeated the disaster spelt for the colonists of France Antarctique, in 1567. A few years later, in 1620, Portuguese and Brazilian colonists arrived in number and São Luís started to develop, with an economy based mostly in sugar cane and slavery. 
French traders and colonists tried again to settle a France equinoxial further north, in what is today French Guiana, in 1626, 1635 when the capital, Cayenne, was founded and 1643. Twice a Company de la France Equinoxial was founded, in 1643 and 1645, but both foundered as a result of misfortune and mismanagement. It was only after 1674, when the colony came under the direct control of the French crown and a competent governor took office, that France Equinoxial became a reality. To this day, French Guiana is a department of France. French Guiana was first settled by the French in 1604, although its earliest settlements were abandoned in the face of hostilities from the indigenous population and tropical diseases. The settlement of Cayenne was established in 1643, but was abandoned. It was re established in the 1660s. Except for brief occupations by the English and Dutch in the 17th century, and by the Portuguese in the 19th century, Guiana has remained under French rule ever since. From 1851 to 1951 it was the site of a notorious penal colony, Devil's Island Since 1946, French Guiana has been an overseas department of France. Topic see also Atlantic World History of Canada Former Colonies and Territories in Canada French and Indian Wars Franco-Indian Alliance French Colonial Empire French in Canada French in the United States French Intervention in Mexico Illinois Country List of French Possessions and Colonies List of French Forts in North America Military of New France Timeline of Imperialism Hashtag Colonization of North America Canadian French Topic Notes Topic References Brecker, Frank W. Losing a Continent, France's North North American Policy, 1753–1763 Dechaney, Louise Habitants and Merchants in 17th Century Montreal 2003 Eccles, W. J. The Canadian Frontier, 1534–1760 Eccles, W. J. Essays on New France 1988 Eccles, W. J. The French in North America, 1500 to 1783. Fitzhenry and Whiteside Limited, 1998. A Standard Scholarly Survey. Havard, Giles, and Cecile Vidal. Making New France New Again. French historians rediscover their American past. Commonplace. July 2007. V7 Number no. 4. Holbrook, Sabra, 1976. The French Founders of North America and Their Heritage. New York, Athenaeum. ISBN 0 689 30490 0. Katz. Ron. French America, French Architecture from Colonialization to the Birth of a Nation. Editions Didier Millet, 2004. McDermott, John Francis. The French in the Mississippi Valley University of Illinois Press, 1965 McDermott, John F., ed. Frenchmen and French Ways in the Mississippi Valley 1969 Marshall, Bill, ed. France and the Americas, Culture, Politics, and History 3 Vol. 2005 Moog, Peter N. La Nouvelle France, The Making of French Canada A Cultural History 2000. 340 pp. Trudel, Marcel. The Beginnings of New France 1524-1663 White, Sophie. Wild Frenchmen and Frenchified Indians, Material Culture and Race in Colonial Louisiana University of Pennsylvania Press, 2013 Topic in French Balvé, Arnaud. Lepe et la plume, Amerindiens et soldats des troupes de la marine en Louisiane et au pays d'Ine Hot Presses Université Laval, 2006 Balvé, Arnaud. La Revolte des Natchez, Editions du Fayland, 2008. Hafford, Peter Wallace, and Pierre Philippe Potier. La Francais des Canadiens à la Vale de la Conque, Témoignage du Per Pierre Philippe Potier, S.J., Presses de l'Université d'Ottawa, 1994. Mousset, Marcel and Wasilkov, Gregory A. Archéologie de l'Amérique coloniale française. Levesque d'Itor, Montreal 2014. ISBN 978-2-924186-38-1 Print, ISBN 978-2-924186-39-8 Ebook